Hello, uh, this is Imri from DIY Cyborg in Tokyo Hackerspace, and uh, I wanted to do a little video about uh, something that we have in Japan, which I really, really like, is these uh, Gakken uh, MOOC uh, project kits. Now, they come out uh, every month or two months or so, and they have uh, various different uh, kits, and uh, basically it's a magazine, which we have here in this particular magazine is about steam engines and car engines. So they have some kind of technical, you know, background to them. And then uh, along with the magazine, you get a big box, and inside the box is some kind of project. So uh, the one I'm uh, talking about right now is a steam engine, which you can see here. Uh, but uh, just to give you kind of an example of the kinds of things they have, here is another one that is a uh, an ornithopter, and there's a battery pack and a little tiny motor in there that actually turns this, uh, and it, so you have to put together this ornithopter. Pretty cool. Um, they also came out with the Japanino, um, which is uh, quite popular in Japan, and uh, a lot of other uh, projects. Um, and I can think of a few right now. One was the 4-bit um, uh, uh, computer, and another project was a... Uh, uh, analog synthesizer, and whenever they they re-release these these kits every uh, couple of times a year as well. So you can once the kit is out, um, if it's out of stock, you can wait just a few months or you know maybe four or five months at the most, and they'll release it again, which is really cool. And when they re-release it, they often put in updated uh, articles in the magazine. So um, when they re-released the uh, four-bit computer and the synthesizer, one of the projects that they had was someone had taken the 4-bit computer and the audio synthesizer mashed them together and created a sequencer, which is really kind of cool. Um, so anyway, uh, the first part of this video, I think maybe just the first video is going to be, you know, a little bit about, you know, why I chose this kit. And then uh, I'll do another one actually starting it up and running the, the uh, steam engine here. Um, but you can see the quality of the magazine is, is really high. Um, I can't read Japanese hardly at all, so, like, you know, Lots of pictures is really good, um, really good diagrams, um, interesting topics, um, good writers. Uh, so Gakken does a, a lot of work, you know, uh, putting these things together. Um, there's a really cool article about exploding steam engines, I guess, uh, <laughs> and uh, how a steam engine, steam train works. And um, their assembly instructions are often really, really, really easy and simple, and you don't need to be able to read Japanese for them. Um, so you can see here's the parts, um, and it's just, you know, a few steps. This steam engine took me about 15, 20 minutes to assemble. Um, it was really, really fast. The only tools you really need, screwdriver, uh, razor knife, or box cutting knife, exacto knife, whatever, and a ruler. It's pretty much all you need. Um, and, uh, this is the packaging that the, all the parts came in. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool project. And, um, a couple reasons why I, I picked this one up specifically and why I wanted to do the video on this one. Uh, first of all, like when I was a kid, my dad had one of those uh, steam engines, you know, those metal stamped out pieces that had a copper boiler. Um, and I was just fascinated by it and I loved, you know, playing with it. And uh, we, he carried it around with him pretty much most of his life until I came along and then I carried it around most of my life and uh, I've given it back to him since I, before I moved to Japan. and kind of it's the one thing that my dad and I trade back and forth throughout our life and is never going to, you know, leave the family, I think. It's, and it's, you know, his dad had it, I think, too. So it's one of the really older kind of antique ones by now. But still, you know, every once in a while we get it, we get together and we'll fire it up and, and play around with it. Um, steam, steam engines are just, just fascinating to me. So when I saw this, I was like, uh, in heaven. <laughs> And uh, it's, a, it's a little plastic steam engine, which kind of surprised me, you know, why they would do it in plastic. But um, it seems to hold out all right. Um, the steam kind of acts as a lubricant for it. It doesn't have a very big flywheel, so it doesn't have very much torque. But um, it still was uh, fun to put together and fun to play with. The other reason why I bought it was as soon as I saw it, the very first thing that came to my head was uh, Tokyo Hackerspace needs to have steam engine race cars. So... After I play around with it for a while, my next thing is I'm going to start hacking it into a, like a little car. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and uh, I'll do another video of uh, firing it up and uh, 
watching it go.